joined now by Martin Ross and Martin is the man who made the bid at the Scotland Rugby World Cup send-off dinner to bring uh, the Kings of the Line Out session to Aloha Rugby Club. Uh, Martin, you must be chuffed to see both Gilco and Johnny Gray here tonight. Yeah, it's good, really good. The club's going well just now and um, to hope we get some spin-off from some of the well-known international players coming along and get some benefit, the club get some benefit. So I'm quite pleased to have funded it to that extent. Well, it'll be a big challenge for this year having moved up a league, so that, that's the main challenge for us. I think that's uh, the unexpected part of it. We're not sure what the opposition will be like. We've seen one or two teams play last year when we had three weekends. We went to watch a couple of teams in the outset. We might, we might get promoted, so we understand that one or two of the teams. We played the Gordonians in the Shield here last year, which was a good test for us. We beat us in the last passage of the game. So um, the unexpected part is the opposition. We're not sure how we'll be able to compete with the opposition, but we. We'll focus on our own, own team and our abilities and try and get the best out of Canada, the guys we've got. So we've set ourselves some goals this season and we'll see how we get on trying to achieve them. Brilliant to be back in the homeland. You know, I spent a lot of my childhood at this club, a great club, and uh, you know a lot of the guys down tonight are, Familiar faces and guys that I grew up, grew up playing with, and uh, a lot of the older guys that I've, I've watched through throughout the years. So, no, it's, it's great to be back down and enjoy tonight. You're obviously very proud of you here, Grant. There's there's uh, some very interesting pictures of you in the clubhouse. So, oh, went, uh, yeah, the blonde highlights. Uh, I don't like to talk about. Um, yeah, that was a, a mistake from my a younger year. But you know, I, the club have been brilliant for me over the years. They're always really proud of. Not only me, but obviously Sean Kennedy, who's here tonight, Glenn Bryce, Kevin Bryce, um, Stuart Edwards, who's played um, for under, uh, Scotland in the 18s, under 20s, who um, the club are always really proud of, of their achievements. And you know, it's great for the club to be able to shout about guys playing professional rugby from, from a wee club like this. And yeah, it's brilliant. Johnny, everybody's got to start somewhere with the rugby. You started playing your mini rugby at, at Canvas Lang, and it's great to invest in the grassroots, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's great to be here my first time in Alan. As Gilkey said, no, it's, it's, it's great to be with these guys. Um, yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of young guys, a lot of older guys, and I yeah, could just see how much they love the game. And yeah, for like Gilkey said, um, like Dunkey Weir, um, Scotty Forest. Um, if it wasn't if it wasn't for Cam Slang, I wouldn't be what I'm doing just now. And yeah, so it just shows uh, a love and appreciation for the game. Joined now by Lewis McIntyre, who's been here at Aloha for 14 years. Lewis, a, a good night tonight, and and you seem to be uh, enjoying the the tutelage of both Grant and uh, Johnny Gray. Yeah, no, it's been good because especially from my point of view, I've been heavily involved in the lineup at Alwa, uh, having Gilco and Johnny down, just giving us their expertise and giving us advice on how to do things better, especially for the season ahead, because uh, we're obviously got promotion last season, so uh, we're going into a more difficult league. Uh, so it will be it will be more challenging for us. So with this then coming down, giving us tips on how to do things better again, uh, it's going to be it will be hopefully put us in good stead for the season ahead. 